Um, my name is Lisa Canelli, and I am very happy to be here today to let you know what we have been doing at the Spatial Data Analysis and Visualization Labs at the University of Hawaii Hilo. Um, what I'm going to be talking about is what we have online now to make your work easier, what we've been exploring, and the direction that we wish to go into. So who we are, um, you guys probably have heard SDAL, hopefully. Um, if not, uh, we're now the Spatial Data Analysis and Visualization Lab. That is our facility. That's where the people that um, do the work are housed. And that's where our training it happens. Um, it is uh, two labs. One is a teaching lab of 22 computers, and um, you all are welcome if you want to have a workshop there that we can host it, or we can also give a workshop for you. And then the geodata repository is actually the physical servers, and that's where we're hosting all the data sets. This is all made available through EBSCOR, which is an NSF grant. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Um, so why do we care? Like, Why do we want to build out a spatial data infrastructure to, um, to house um, what we're going to be embarking on in terms of imagery? That's our next big project. Well, the reason behind that is we want to make your life easier. We all have the same considerations and concerns, whether you are um, interested in climate change, whether you're interested in um, observing what the what the sea, what the uh, land, and what the sky is happening there, whether you are a policymaker or a researcher, you need data to move your concerns forward. And one of the points of the grant is to make that data accessible to you all. So um, the other thing that's happening is the growth of data is expanding rapidly. What I have here is a study area on the island of Hawaii. It's where Sun Road and Powerline Road intersect, and there's um, a bunch of kipuku there. And you can see that we've got Landsat, Emerge, you've got uh, um, Quickbird, um, Worldview 2, and then um, the resource mapping, Hawaii resource mapping data set. And what's nice about all of these is that we can share them out. That's the end user um, agreement allows us all to share out these um, derived products. So um, I'm going to take a step back and tell you what we have now going on. We um, are serving out atlases of information. The, um, the one that you guys probably have all visited is the, rain, um, the rainfall atlas that uh, the Tom and um, Mike's crew put up. They uh, collected all the data, and we did the wrapper on that and are serving it out to you all. Uh, recently, there was a study done about um, food sustainability in Hawaii, uh, on the island of Hawaii, and maybe you saw the poster last night. And that is those data sets, and that information is also being served to you all. We also um, are making, uh, doing maps like David talked about, easier for everyone. There's a quick tutorial on how to do this. If you don't have the GIS software, you can do it online, and the tutorial will, will show you how to do it in 10 seconds. Um, or if you do have the GIS software on your desktop, you can, um, we're serving out the statewide data sets, and you can bring that into your map document and take it from there. It's, what's nice about that is you don't have to manage the data and you don't incur the footprint as long as you have an internet connection. We also um, have online for you all as encouragement is some map galleries that were created online with the statewide data sets. And um, this is a, a really fun endeavor that we're doing. It's um, virtual tours, so you can, um, this is Joanna Wu's field site on Sunnel Road. And you can go online and check it out, and um, you can zoom um, in and out. You can do a 360, and each of her field sites, you can see them, they're um, the little red dots on the left-hand side. You can visit each of those by going to that dot or by um, going to the tile that's in the upper right-hand corner. Um, we uh, Recently, they filmed um, Josh's 
uh, one of Josh's sites that he's going to be speaking about um, in, the, in the next session. Okay, so um, what are we working on? Well, we are we really um, one of our goals is to host imagery, and uh, not only imagery but raster products so that you can use it in your work. And we're um, very excited about uh, what ESRI is allowing uh, people to do now with raster data sets and uh, mosaic catalogs. So we did test using the Saddle Road imagery. Um, we were able to, in our, in our test environment, we built out a mosaic of 138 images. Um, they were all derived products. The situations, the hiccups that we had is metadata. We need more metadata to make this work well. And um, the tool, the search tool that we were looking at um, works right now only on numeric values. So we're going to explore other options. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. But what's really wonderful about this is I don't have to pick for you what you want. I um, make a mosaic. I serve it out via the server. You bring it into your workstation and you can view it with this tool and you can flip through it depending on what the attributes are. And then you pick the scene that you want and you click add and it's in your map document. So it's a very handy tool and it allows you to have choice of what you want to use for your imagery. Now, um, what we're going to be building out is um, this web-based ability to um, share our direct product. We're going to have FTP so that an agency can upload their raw data to our server system and then they have access control to share it out. So we're no longer calling each other up saying, hey, do you have that image? And can I send you a hard drive? And, or can you file drop it to me? We're going to streamline that process. And um, the other avenue that we're exploring is this dynamic service um, directory. This is a, only available right now in 10.1, and that's what our platform is for our server system for those spatial data repository part of it. And this is really kind of neat because you don't you can pull in our imagery services, but then you can pull in other people's imagery services, and you can flip through it very easily in one place rather than um, maybe going to uh, Landsat or to Spot and seeing what they have. If it's being served up, you can view it through this and you just need a computer and internet. So what do we have um, in terms of how we're gonna be delivering this? Well, um, right now we have our state-of-the-art server complex. It's um, VMs, so we can add and delete as we need. As if we find that our growth is going more in geoprocessing, we can grow that. Um, or if imagery services take off, we can grow that very easily. We also um, are going to do the FTP, as I mentioned. It's online, but we're working it out. And the scientific data portal, you might have heard of this or saw the poster again from last night. This is right now um, close to um, only F-score scientists and researchers. But we're hoping that this product will end up being um, the go-to place for data sharing, data collection, storage, and data distribution to the public. So um, what we have, uh, the timeline on all of this is the image services will be in production uh, by December. Um, we will hopefully have all the raster servers, uh, services up in spring, and uh, we're looking into doing some fun stuff with augmented reality. And This is an image of the of tiles that look like they're in 3D from a piece of paper, and that's we're kind of exploring that in terms of a communication tool. So where are we? Well, you can reach us um, through the top URL, but in um, probably 10 days' time, you can reach us at just spatial.hawaii.edu. This is my contact information if you want to talk to me directly. And, um, and then finally, what I want to close on is how do you guys think about uh, what uh, this, uh, he's a newspaper publisher, reporter, um, have, thinks about the purpose of newspaper. And I think this ties into the purpose of what we're trying to do with the spatial data analysis and visualization labs. 
And that is, uh, what, we're, what are, are we doing, what we're doing, is it worthwhile, is it useful, is it an improvement? And these are questions that you need to answer for yourself. Um, is it exciting, is it out of the ordinary, is it going to help you with your workload? Um, and then, if it is going to help you with your workload, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to go ahead and, and get online and, and start um, using these tools to, to uh, better your deliverable? And then, um, the we part of it, are we connected? Because we really are one community and we want to connect all of us together. So if you have a product that you want shared out, talk to us because we will be the vehicle to make that happen. And then um, his last one, of course, is really about newspapers, but it can be related back to what we're doing because um, we will need to know your metadata and your, your end user license agreement so that we can make sure that we're actually serving out appropriately the data set. And um, with that, I just want to say thank you and um, ask if anybody has any questions. Okay, thank you very much.